Weather report for the 5th. Bright and overcast at the same time. Not sure how that works. Well, I'm here and ready. Some of us working people have got things to do. Yes, we have. <laughs> yes, we have. have. We? Uh, <laughs> good morning. Merry Vlogmas. Merry Vlogmas. Yes. Day five. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, Mum first. Where is number five? Why is Mum always first? I have to eat mine first. It's You're all gone. It's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Are you usually at the front? Pink. <laughs> Pink. Is that a, re a regular one? I think it's a regular one. What's the regular one? Just the Just dark plain. chocolate, yeah. But I always associate that colour with Turkish delight. Me too. Yeah. Dark yeah. chocolate covered. No, Turkish delight covered in dark chocolate. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think you're right. <sighs> it does happen occasionally. You know, decadence would be a very easy way to live, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably wouldn't live that long, though. No. <laughs> yes. Is it yummy? Is it a plain one? Mm. 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 Good one. <laughs> uh, it's melted on your thumb. Mm. Don't, don't use it. Um, alright. <laughs> oh. You sound so disappointed. Oh. It's a Ferrero Rocher. Everyone agreed with you though that you definitely need more than one of those. Yeah, yeah. Like, I have had this the other day in the other cheek. Yeah. <laughs> really done a hamster. <laughs> the trouble is there's coffee in that one, so I'm not swapping it to mine. No. no. <laughs> it's not happening. No. Well, you I'm don't. not displeased, but I'm not... Uh, the anticipation isn't the same as if it was something I've not had before. Okay, understood. But I'm going to enjoy it. Good. I think there's only seven. Mm. Yeah, seven yeah. choices. You'd think they'd spray them out, wouldn't you? But nine. Right, so mine, mine is right at the top. Oh, cream egg twisted. This is it? It's a cream egg. Oh, cream mm. egg! Yeah, but a, di a diddy little bar of cream egg instead of oh. like the giant one that James nearly died with. Yeah. <laughs> How old was he when he just swallowed it whole? It was his first chocolate right. on his first birthday. He was one years old and you gave one him a cream old. egg. No, 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 no. He shrubbed it all in his yeah. mouth. Yeah, yeah, he was sitting in his high chair. Yeah. And he literally put it all in. He was one years old, surely. So I there turned was... him upside down. <laughs> Smoked him on the bag. Mm. Yeah. Got it out yeah. immediately. But surely for a one year old there are more intelligent sized chocolates to give a one year old. Well no, because he could you it, that if you're gonna put it in your mouth. You can do something about it. If it's a oh. little one and it blocks the airway, oh, okay. you've got a problem. Oh, okay. So actually, it's a better one to have a go with. Oh, okay. But that was his first taste of chocolate. It wasn't so much to put it in his mouth, but it started to melt. Oh. His entire mouth. Yeah. And I know he's a bit older than one. No, it's his first birthday. Was it? Oh. <laughs> Sitting in the high chair. Uh, was you he ever one? Same. You didn't get any chocolate till your first birthday, either. Did I not? Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. What did I have? Anyway, thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I don't remember, to be honest, because it wasn't an event. It wasn't an event, but I didn't choke on it. <laughs> no. Mm. Bit of a slow start to today. It is half past two, I think. I am down in the main house. I am going to start working on the Penny Inns. I have got on my owl jumper. I don't wear this very often. I've got it on with a Vogue 9199. I don't wear this jumper very often because it's a little short in the waist for me. I mean, I did ask mum to not make it as long as the pattern requires because I didn't want it to be finishing on my hips. I wanted it to start at my waist but we had a little bit too much on the side of caution because I said to start where the waist shaping started and yeah it could do with being about an inch longer but I can wear it over dresses like this so I am and I don't know if you remember I, I said the eyes on ages ago I tried to do it during a live stream and failed miserably because I couldn't concentrate on sewing and talking at the same time so this Sunday's live stream is going to be interesting anyway I have a giant pile of fabric to turn into bags. Wish me luck. Okay, we have flaps and straps, <laughs> or a flap and straps. So this is the exterior, that's the interior. There's going to be a turn lock that goes on there and then I'm also going to put on metal corners. I didn't put metal corners on the last one because it was for 
uh, Susie's niece and I don't know how old she was but I got the impression no I granddaughter i got the impression she was a bit younger so i didn't want to put any on anything that could be picked away at and come come loose because it's only they are only glued on these corners they sh i mean it shouldn't go anywhere so anyway flap is done straps are done i don't have the right magnets again i am lacking in magnets so i have placed an order they're on their way there are loads of other bits and pieces that i can do in this now uh, i mean the next step is i mean the first step is actually to make the thing that is actually meant to have the magnet on it it's magnets or press studs so see i've skipped that step and the next step according to the video tutorial is the body of the purse but i'm going to have to skip that step too because i need to put the magnet bit in to the body so uh, yeah I'm going to start working on the card pocket a oh no the ID pocket that's the next part I suspect the sofa might be lava Chiana does not seem to be too bothered back up at mine I've changed my jumper that owl jumper is lovely but it was really itchy around my neck and it was uncomfortable really uncomfortable it was distracting me although it's distracting me for other things as well so that's you know maybe not the bad bad thing but i yeah i put on my oh gosh i can't remember ella the ella blouse but i've made it in a knit fabric and then i have the same dress on underneath so it's seven o'clock i'm going to go to the cinema this evening i want to see knives out it looks really fun actually it's four minutes past seven and this the the cinema says it starts at nine uh, seven thirty uh, but they're usually about 20 minutes of like adverts and stuff so i've got time so i'm going to jump in the car and go and watch the movie and then i come back and finish editing this video and i'm back uh that was an awesome movie it was like a tribute to Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot and uh, yeah that was really really good I'm not gonna get ruin it for you because it's very easy to spoil that but you should definitely go if you enjoy that type of thing did you see the the the, the murder on the Orient Express the remake with Kenneth Branagh I think it was Kenneth Branagh that was awesome as well I really hope that they make another one in that in that style but this yeah Knives Out was brilliant highly recommend so I'm home and I am going to go through the comments because I haven't done that for a couple of days so I'm going through the comments on the vlog that I put up earlier today so there's two videos today there was my gift guide and then vlogmas day four I am going to try and do that continue with vlogmas and not give you either or so uh, for, for this month there may be a few days of double videos <laughs> Not many, but a few. Um, anyway, comments. So Bethany C says, first comment, woo, I'm having a duvet day, but I do have to take part in a fashion show at the muggle job later. Well, I hope the fashion show went well and I love the fact that you call it a muggle job. That's awesome. <laughs> Rona says, hope you don't mind me saying but this, but I have jaw pain. Not sure it's the same as yours, but your whole head is agony. I was told I was dairy intolerant and stopped, my, um, stopped dairy. My jaw pain almost went away. So after a long absence, I tried to have it again as I love kefir but my jaw pain returned with a vengeance I sadly stopped my kefir and it was almost instant the next day my pain was gone I have a wee twinge but compared to what I was like and I can handle that I hope this helps it might not be that with with you but it's worth mentioning thank you Rona I have never heard of that before I my I don't think mine's related to TMJ I don't think it is any kind of food intolerance but that's really interesting that something like that just stopping like dairy just immediately like that could help I mean maybe I should try it although I'm not sure what I'd eat if I didn't eat cheese <laughs> I mean I'm kidding I'm kidding but I, I I'm going to see the orthodont on orthodontist on the 16th fingers crossed we'll have some more answers when I go to my MDT um, which I'm hoping is going to be January, but I have a feeling it's not. I have a feeling it's going to be later than that. That's really interesting. I don't think it's a food intolerance, but because my actual, my jaw has moved. So I, the, the position of, of my teeth and things have really shifted over the last two years. So I think it's more a mechanical thing than it is a kind of uh, uh, intake thing. Think that makes sense but thank you for letting me know and i am so glad that you managed to identify your pain and what was causing that and i'm sorry you can't have your kefir anymore mum has that daily as well she loves hers but i hope you i hope you hope you found something that works for you 
instead of that but thank you for letting me know Rona. Lily says you had me laughing out loud when you mentioned your concern about the length of the video the more you worry the more waffle we get <laughs> I have a feeling that today is going to be another one of those. Sewing in PJs I'm always amazed how you just rattle off the numbers of the pattern you're wearing or want to make or seem or anything truly a gift I, I mm, kind of but then ones that patterns that I've made I have spoken about them so often and talked about them so often it kind of just gets ingrained in there but there are certain pattern numbers that I just cannot remember for the life of me I've made so many of the dresses and just still cannot remember that remember them for the life of me indie patterns are easier than the big four because obviously they have names so I find that much easier to keep up with and a lot of the time as well I do have my computer or my phone and I have looked I kind of know what I'm after but I can't re exactly remember the number and the magic of editing might make it look a little bit more like I do but thank you sewing in PJs that's very kind of you to notice <laughs> Julie says Danny if you suddenly start staying merry vlog together with Sean and Jane they'll they'll be totally surprised you're not wrong Julie you're not wrong but he's contrary so I very much doubt he'll do that although he probably will now we shall see I shall live in anticipation for tomorrow morning and find out what's going on Megan says maybe you should try a heat pad to wrap your pain area it would help with the pain what movies are you wanting to watch so I have got lots of movies that I want to watch I like I said I've just seen been seen Knives Out I've seen Frozen 2 and Last Christmas I want to see both of those again new Star Wars movies coming out I hope the Jumanji movie is going to come out this month there's another one coming out what is it what is it there's loads coming out over the next couple of weeks that I want to go and see. I don't think I'm going to struggle to see nine movies this month. I think I've already seen three, haven't I? So yeah, I've got six more to go and seeing as I want to see two of them again, then I don't, I don't think I'm going to struggle, but there's loads out at the moment that I want to see. So with regards to the pain, it's kind of, it's, it's in the wisdom tooth area and it's, it's like a constant pressure. I haven't tried heat to be honest. I haven't tried heat or, or cold. So that, might be something worth trying. I'm probably, if you see me with a, like a, a wrap around my face, then then you'll know that I, I'm trying something like that. But uh, yeah, it's it's these two areas here, which is where the temporomandibular joint is. So that's not surprising really, is it? It's there, but I shall, I shall maybe, I, maybe I should try heat nice because that works for other types of pain, doesn't it? And maybe it is muscle pain. Maybe I should try yet. So um, possibly. Margaret Meyer says, yes, the whiff is gorgeous. So is the QQ. Love your folks. They're hilarious. My husband has a temp solution for your sewing table being too low. If your dad has any two by fours laying around, doesn't everybody try putting them under the table to see how high you need it. Then see if you can get someone to make something that can, it can just sit on. Just a thought. I really appreciate all the advice that i'm getting for this but i'm going to show you guys tomorrow my actual table because it i there there's at least one part that i move pretty much daily and that's the problem with the table is that it folds it's not a static thing it folds down much smaller than than that and it folds out much uh, to be as big as it is and there are parts of that that i use move daily on the runners so everything's on wheels yeah possibly i i mean i you could you could buy, build a frame that the it could all sit on that everything would then still move but it might just be cheaper to buy a chair that works for me so i do appreciate the thought and i have seen the bed risers as well somebody else has mentioned bed risers that you can get and again that's a great idea but there's one two three four wheels on one part that i mean there is just so many uh, wheels on that table that i don't think that would work but possibly i'll show you guys the underneath of the table tomorrow so that you can have a look and see what i'm dealing with and then maybe you will have some brilliant ideas that i've not yet thought of so i shall show you i shall take you on a tour of my and then underneath of my sewing table there's a sentence i never thought i'd say neve sparkle goat fiona says i'm going to repeat myself and say your parents are epic yes yes they are have you ever heard of the spoon theory when it comes to chronic pain Ill chronic illness chronic pain if not google it it's how to understand and explain energy levels when you're in pain all the time i'm a spoonie too i have a, quite a few friends who are spoonies and i do understand the reference starting to apply the reference as well but 
yeah anyway hugs for you fiona becky says i love it when your mum and dad are on with you i'm so sorry that you're suffering with your jaw i used to have problems too and had to go to a special dentist that made a mouth guard for me to wear at night it worked yes i am seeing a special dentist i am seeing a maxillofacial surgeon i am seeing the orthodontist on the 16th i am going to have a multiple disciplinary team hearing with them in Portsmouth where they're all going to let me know all the different things that they think that they can do to make this behave itself again so uh, night guard is probably going to be a mouth guard is probably going to be one of those things I, I think braces for a while is going to be one of those things and eventually surgery is going to be one of those things if the other things don't work so that's the next two three years of my life but that's fine I can cope with that I have my head around it now did not to begin with but I do now but I'm very glad that the mouth guard worked for you Becky and I am hoping that I'm going to get one of those and it is going to help relieve this <laughs> Lynn says, just love your mum and dad. That is one happy cat. Yes, uh, Chiana has been spending a lot of time on my lap recently, which I absolutely love. When I first got her, she wasn't a lap cat. Every now and again, she'd come and sit on my lap, but not very often. And the older she's got, the more she's doing it, which is lovely. So I am very happy that she is turning into a lap cat in her old age. Well, I mean, she's not old, she's six. As she's getting older, shall we say. Then we have lots of emojis. I'm glad we sorted the emoji gate out. <laughs> Sally says, hope all your wishes come true. Enjoy your sewing day, Sean. Thank you, Sally. I hope my wishes come true too. I did enjoy my sewing that I did today. I didn't do as much as I wanted to, but I did do some, which was good. And I shall be doing more. No, not tomorrow, but I shall be doing more on Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow is an errand day. More emojis. And Walker says, love your mum and dad. Tell them Merry Vlogmas from me. Also, Merry Vlogmas to you and she. Thank you, Anne. Esther says, drum redesigns makes templates in the UK. Check her out on Facebook. Awesome, Esther. Thank you very much. I will. And Nessa says, what did you have for dinner? I had a steak salad last night and I had steak salad again this evening because I had a pack of two steaks. And I am trying to keep up my red meat intake to keep my iron levels high because this is the time last year when I got really sick and it turns out that I was anemic and that was why I was so sick for so long. So I really don't want to repeat of that this year so I am trying to be better and um, so yes I had red meat and it was very yummy anyway we're up to 21 minutes of waffles so that's going to be condensed down I hope you haven't got a bit about I can speak I hope you guys have enjoyed my day and I will see you all tomorrow bye